Hi there, Justin from Brick Front here again. So we're on this top wall now, so we thought we'd show you this. So these are the creasing tiles. So if we just scan around there, rather than show them around what we've done so far with the creasing tiles. So that's where we are with it. So we've used this trammel that We've used this trammel to mark up the creasing tiles to come round so we get this arc absolutely perfect as we have with the rest of this wall. So the trammel continues, life goes on with the trammel, so it's doing us well, isn't it, Brad? Yeah. So what we've done now, again, I'm so sorry about the noise in the background with the traffic. Bear with us, these creasing tiles, top tip for this, and we've taken this away now from what we usually do in terms of us laying our paving with our porcelain and Indian sandstone and granite, slate, etc. So we've got this slurry mixed up that we use to put on the back of the slabs. How many times do you see as bricklayers a, a creasing course, the frost getting underneath and it blowing and the brick and edge comes loose and you've got to go back and you've got to redo it. It's not very good, is it? Not all the time, some of the time. So what we've done, we put this slurry on there on top of the first floor of the tile, and then what we'll do, We'll put this sand and cement on top now, Three, uh, four and one mix as usual. Just so whack that on top of there. Now I do this, I do creasing tiles by where I like to fill the whole area with sand and cement. Some people leave this middle section out completely and that's fine. I mean that's, that's entirely up to them but this is the way we do it. So that gets filled in on top of there like that. Spread all, all out right on top of your slurry. So there we are, that's ready now. So, then what we're going to do now, we're going to slurry the back of this, but we can't slurry there or there because it's going to be seen underneath. So, what we'll do is we'll slurry that there. And we've done this now with every one, Brad, coming along, haven't we? Yeah. Or Brad has, anyway. Brad picked it up for me. So that's all slurried up now. So all you do now is put that on top of there. So you've got your compo, your sand and cement slurried to the one underneath, and you've got this one slurried to your compo. So in my opinion, that is going to stop any cracking, any frost penetration, or anything. Delamination. You know what you know what, it's, what I'm trying to get to. Level our through, level our through, and then next, a little bit more on there. Same principle again now. Just put that on there. Put that there. Well, this stuff, like I said, if you go back to the videos we use on paving, we use this slurry. For any bricklayers out there that don't use this, we use this slurry to go on the back of the porcelain, to go on the back of paving, to make it a deer. So I just think we've kind of pinched that from what we do with that to be able to use it on this. And I think it's a good idea myself. So, goes on there. Same thing, put it down. Now the benefit of laying this with a full bed underneath is I can feel this now as I'm hitting it down that the whole underside of that, just like we do with our paving it's got sand and cement right the way through the middle of it there's no voids in it, there's no water can get in it, there's no frost can get in it so if you're going on this basis of the slurry and the full bed my way of thinking is it's the best job for us it's the best job for our client and it's the best job for durability isn't it that's my way of thinking so thought I'd show you so I'll lay one more now just to show you before Brad does the cut I mean it does take a time and you think oh you know it takes a little bit of time he's, he's, he, he, we want to earn the money we want to slam it in but it's not always about the money it is about doing a good job as well And then just squeeze him in. And you can see all that now, all that perp is all coming up. 
all billowing up, all coming out the side. So that's further showing us. So we've got a nice tight joint there. Full, solid Basana cement. We lastly now level out across. This is there. Bang on level. Full our bond. We're going to cut that. So we won't show you that now because Brad's going to cut that with a disc cut there. So crease in tiles. Hope you agree. I mean, if you disagree, fine. Leave them in the comments below. But I hope that's uh, helped you. And hopefully, this will put this wall now in good stead for our clients to make it last the stead of time. And uh, it'll probably end up living longer than me, which is the hope. So <laughs> there we go. Happy, Brad? Very. Anything to add? Freezing cold. Freezing cold. It's freezing cold. So there we are. See you soon. Hope it's helped. Leave the comments below. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers.